Você indicou o nome da medicina após o trajeto que ocorreu com seu amigo, que enlouquecido fugiu para a floresta onde foi devorado por loucos. Revolucionei o método de tratamento dos doentes mentais. Eu usei concepções humanistas, liberalistas e humanistas. Rompei a contradição religiosa e os nomes da época, que foram Rousseau, Montesquieu e Voltaire. Desculpa, padre, mas para eu tratar dos doentes mentais agora, vou ter que romper com a sua religião, com os dogmas da igreja. Na época, todos eram considerados loucos, doentes e eram encarcerados juntos. já existiam hospitais para excluídos socialmente, mas a medicina ainda não tinha elementos para definir a loucura. Bom, os asilos foram substituídos por manicômios e esse foi destinado somente ao tratamento dos doentes mentais. Com isso foram criados métodos e experiências para que fossem desenvolvidas curas ou formas de tratamento mesmo. Na França, desenvolvia esses métodos nos hospitais de Abicetré, em Salto e Pierre. Hours later, in the dark caves below La Bicetre, an iron door opened, letting the sunlight blind the eyes of those below who lived in perpetual night. Slowly then, the new superintendent made his way down the stone stairway, handkerchief held to his face to keep off disease. After him, the keepers, not cruel or evil, but simply hired muscle men, who sincerely believed that the insane were wild animals to be held in a zoo. Finally, the official of the government, a hard-faced cripple named Couthon, sent to judge whether the new madhouse keeper was tough enough for the job. In all the long years of his life, Pinel would never forget the nightmare of that first inspection. <laughs> Captain George Gaspar, maniac, 35 years in this cell. 35 years in a cage. Merciful heavens. A woman, Mary Deuce, 31 years. Hector Chevigny, 27 years. Dangerous, killed guard in 1791. Seven nights later, Dr. Pinnell took in his hand the one weapon that he would use, a whistle to blow for help only in the event his life were in acute danger. Secondly, a key to the cells, where he would go alone to free the tormented captives from fear. Finally, he ordered struck away 
the manacles of the dangerous maniac who had killed a guard, Hector Chavigny. Only then, as Pinel stopped and looked back, did he realize that something had saved him. The blinding light of the sun. The sun. The sky. It is beautiful. A moment later, the little doctor and his giant patient were quietly mounting the stairs that led to hope. And with them, there came to an end 2,000 years of darkness. The world of the light and the sky and the stars. And for this miracle, we must, to the name of Philip Pinel, forever give honor. And for the terrible surprise that nearly destroyed him, we must forever take shame. Pinel has been turning madmen loose on the streets of Paris. There is no proof that they will not revert to their original state of madness and destroy our citizens in their beds. Quack! Madmen cutting our throats. Dangerous lunatics treated like humans. Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! A gang of street hoodlums laid in wait for him near the asylum and fell upon him to beat him to death. They would have trampled him into the other world had not a giant-like man passing by suddenly called to them. And a moment later, using his heavy walking stick like a battering ram, that stranger plowed into the senseless mob. No use. The iron gates built to hold madmen in served once to hold madmen out. And now occurred the unbelievable incident which Pinel told about at every lecture he gave in the years. This dramatic event made Pinel world famous. Again and again, lecturing throughout Europe, he carried his message of hope to thousands of medical students. He wrote the first great textbooks on the treatment of mental cases, magazines, and countless articles. And in a little more than a hundred years, we have come from the frightful ignorance that made these...